Have you ever wondered why no matter who wins the U.S. elections, nothing ever changes? The rich get richer. The government grows bigger. Taxes go higher. More and more freedoms are taken away. America starts more and more unnecessary wars. Politicians become multimillionaires. Small businesses go bankrupt. Demonic perversion and propaganda gets shoved in your face 24-7. Did you ever get the feeling that someone or something has taken over our nation and is running everything from behind the scenes? Did you ask yourself, why does the government no longer fear the people? Why do corporations no longer fear the consumers? Literally all of them are marching to the same orders, and all of them are pushing the same agenda and propaganda. You see, America was originally designed so that the government was of, by, and for the people. Those in government ought to fear the people and only have any authority which the people expressly delegated to it, which was mainly to protect the God-given human rights of every person clearly outlined in the Bill of Rights. What made America great was the combination of human freedom and free markets. Freedom of speech, freedom of trade, freedom of religion, freedom to keep and carry guns for protection against tyrants. In this awesome environment of human freedom plus free markets and free trade, there is an explosion of wealth and innovation and creativity that helped America become the number one nation in the world. But what is America today? How are we paying 40%, 50%, 60% or more in taxes? How did the government take over every aspect of the economy and controlling every aspect of our lives? Who is really controlling the entire government and all the corporations behind the scenes? Let me open your eyes. When you see the truth, you will know it in your heart America today is a state of corporate fascism. Fascism is when government completely captures and controls all corporations. It's the unholy marriage of government and commerce. When this occurs, the people have lost all freedom, and a very small group of powerful people can control entire nations. This is what we have today. So how did this happen? And who is behind the scenes controlling everything? You see, the politicians in Congress, the president, the judges, are all just puppets. All elections are rigged because of this marriage between government and corporations. They can use technology to censor the truth and use technology and algorithms to change the vote counts. The FBI, CIA, NSA, IRS, and hundreds of thousands of unelected government workers are an army of tyrants working full-time to maintain control. So what can we do? If we can't see the enemy, how do we even prepare a plan to fight against them? The first step is to stop focusing on elections and puppet politicians. The evil behind the fascist takeover of America is the central banks, the so-called Federal Reserve. They took over the U.S. dollar in 1913 and have been slowly but steadily enabling the people's government to grow larger and larger and more and more powerful. You see, they print unlimited amounts of dollars. And that money has been used to fund unlimited spending by the government. It was also used to buy up the stock of every major corporation so that now the government and the Federal Reserve through three major entities hold the majority of shares of every major corporation in America. These three entities are BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street. Now, do you understand why all of the corporations are marching to the same tune? Now, do you see why the government no longer fears the people? They are all just puppets doing the bidding of the Federal Reserve who controls all the money. So who is the Federal Reserve and who actually owns them? Janet Yellen, Alan Greenspan, Ben Bernanke, Jerome Powell. These are all just stooges that they put in public who act like they are some genius economists trying to help the economy, while in reality all they ever do is print more and more dollars and hand them over to the few ruling elite class, further enabling the fascist takeover. Nobody knows who is truly behind the scenes, but here is a hierarchy showing some of what we do know. Almost all of the power hinges on the fact that we all use their currency. What would happen if we all started using Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies to trade and pay for things? As soon as everyone stopped using their evil dollars, their entire fascist system would crash down. You see, they want a great reset into total fascism and the CBDC, but we are about to give them a great reset of our own. It's time to destroy the un-American central bank fascism and reset the entire government back to 1776 levels, Constitution and Bill of Rights.